Mental health matters. A simple yet powerful phrase that all of us live by. An awareness that builds a strong weapon that dismantles and breaks stigma. A stigma that creates reluctance and shame to anyone that cries and seeks help. With the dramatically high figures of people diagnosed with mental health problems, this has visibly shaped a collective concern. Even more so, during the height of the pandemic, it has perceptively intensified mental health-related issues such as anxiety and depression. The pandemic triggers an eventual demise of hope that magnifies the inner suffering and invisible pain. Different phases of anxiety and depression were tantamount to diversified narratives with the same gravity of struggle. In the College of Engineering Education, we have five courageous student leaders who will share their stories on how they handle their anxiety and depression amidst the strike of over a year pandemic. Good day everyone, I am Jisami Haranda, a third year at the College of Engineering student. And yes, I am one of you who are currently dealing with some stress throughout this pandemic, whether from academic or some personal stuff. So I would like to share to you the three things that I do to cope up with it. First is that take a break, to take your mind off some stressful things. Second is that you should talk about your problems with your peers as well as your family to vent out your frustrations. Third thing is that you should Go easy on yourself by accepting the fact that you cannot control everything in your life. And with acceptance, your life will be a lot more easier compared to before. And with that, you will be able to look at the positive side of things in some situations. Hi Maga, I am Carlos Benedict A. Cardam, a freshman student and taking up Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. So in line with the month's theme, which is Mental Health Awareness Month, I would like to share on how I cope my stress and anxiety attacks. So when I have this feeling of being stressed and having these anxiety attacks, I begin by taking a look around and naming three items that I notice. Then I pay attention. What are the first three noises do I hear? Lastly, moving three different parts of my body, such as my fingers, my toes and my shoulders and that is what I do so that that principle is the 3-3 three, three rule so I hope you will do it also Mahaga if you have this kind of uh, kind of feeling of being stressed or having this anxiety attack or depression just take a take a deep breath and do the 3-3 three, three rule good day everyone this is Aldi Marmar Floor Every now and then, I experience stress and anxiety, and the things that I do in order to cope with it are first, rest. I firmly believe that sleep and rest is very important, especially when you're tired, stressed, and exhausted. Next, I walk. I go to certain places with great scenery or at least good clean air to breathe and try to refresh my mind, evaluate things, and eventually plan our day. Now, whenever problems, self-doubts, and uncertainties, or even life itself overwhelms us, Better things to do are take a pause, breathe, contemplate things, and get back on track. And in times that you needed help, never be afraid to ask. Hi everyone, I am Renz Carlo Ramo, and one of my way to manage my stress is to take a break from these stress-related stuff and have some time to do some of my fun activities or hobbies, such as listening to music, playing my guitar and watching TV series, sitcoms, and movies. Hi, my name is Roxanne Kitain and I am a freshman in mechanical engineering. Although I am still in my first year, I encountered numerous academic stresses. And I think it is because I am still adjusting to the new college vibes and to the online learning mode with no friends to talk to in person on. So, whenever I feel stressed, I get my ukulele and sing for at least a day. Yes, I do that after doing all my activities and that's my way of coping with stress. Inspiring. An image of strength. Courageous. This is how we can describe this person as he bravely took glance in his experiences. An obstacle tried to freeze the flare in his heart, decelerate his drive towards ambitions, and weakens his faith. 
a fifth-year civil engineering student, Mr. Judy Gallardo. How am I feeling? So, kung ina na mo bago, dako kayo siya ng changes, no? So makita niyo karon very comfortable na ko and um, mas um, mas maka mas makagbuhat ko sa ko ang gusto buhaton karon. Kana ako na bitaw happy ka sa imo ginabuhat. Um, mas uh, kung mag mag decide ko every time I decide karon as of now, like makaingong kung uh, confident ko sa ako ang mga decisions. There are a lot of requirements to the school. So ginabala that time ginabalance na ko. Ak ak ginatik na ko normal lang ding ang feeling. Tingani lang just siguro basta college students the kind kay ginako na ko na. Then but I also have to learn aside from uh, being a working student. I have to learn enough para makahatag ko po dito sa ako ang mga igsuon. So what happened is daghan kay ko ginako na ko na. Every night that uh, it, it started kanang wala pay pandemic ah. it started wala pay pandemic nagsamot tong pandemic it's because naa na lang susulod sa balay mas maka-focus ko una una sige ko uh, asa ko mangita og kwarta like para ingani tapos ang mahitabo pa gyud ato daghang kay ko ginaapas na requirements magkamali ko trabaho sa ako ang gitrabahoan sa ako ang ginaworkan So if pagkamali ko gina, gina actually ang ako ang co-work ko is isa ra pud balay isa ra mi ginapuyan ko mga co-work. So ang magkamali ko ang ako ang mas taas og position makasabad ko we feel lagi ako na ko to normal na. Pero you know what nag-experience ko anang anxiety for six months. You know, guys six months ki makaingon jud ko six months jud sa if wala to sa naundang I think I just think mag maglead to, to siya into depression. Ang wala nagkulang ang ako ang parents sa uh, pagkuan. But then they can they cannot kuan mangod, they cannot um kanang ma-visualize gani. Kanang feeling normal lang na advice of a parent. Dili dili siya tapos dili pud nako gusto nga ikuan gyud nako nga ma kuan na judang ako weird na judang ako ang kuan mura dili po na ako siya may ngana I'm just sharing the problems and then they tend to uh, kuan encourage but kutob lang yung ngana kutob lang siya sa encouragement listo uh, actually no kung kung naaman good ko kung naapod good ko ma eh, ma ano sa mga naga experience of anxiety karon I can say na listo jud ka ayus siya isol and no words coming from anyone would just help kana kana bitaw dili good enough ang words i don't know di jud siya enough there must be something na dapat buhaton dapat i conquer ang fear dapat i conquer ang worry is dapat mawala siya nga worry so uh, all in all kuya kanang to anyone who experiences gay depression and anxiety comes in different phases man na uban na kanang ingani ang stages sa ilang anxiety pero we cannot discount man the fact na same jud ang level sa kanang kanang yes. level sa problem different, different oh lahi ang ako ang pinaka advice uh, my advice is you have to um, identify or you have to determine the root of that worryness kung as unsa jud ang unsa jud ginagikanan ana niya and what you can do risk yun siya. It's really a risk. Eh, kaya nga naman, ang decision na yung mga buhaton at that time, na nga nung nag-worry ka, kay lisod mag-decide. Ang mga mga ko ang kuhan, lisod na yung mga butang na dili ni mo mag-give up ba? Mga mga nga ko ang if made and then mga mga and then focus on kuhan, positive na ano, positive solution. And dapat dili jud ka magpadala sa mga sa mga negative nega ng mga advices be be focus still kanang labanan yun ni mo siya so for the friends um, they they should not judge the person even if it's acting weird how it uh, kanang something na nai changes sa iya ha you should know how to listen and then you should uh, ask about his or her problem dapat mapagawas lang niya it doesn't mean that 
uh, you have to give advice. It's just that this person need someone na masyera niya, mapagawasan niya sa iyang gibatik. And you know what? If that is really an effective kuan, magawas mag, lang jud ang tears sa iya ha. Meaning, if, if if that happens, successful lang iya. Ano, at least magod ka ng a sign of tear is isa po na siya sa sign na nag ang iya ang burden ng dinadala. Truly, Our journey towards healing and recovery from anxiety and depression is not linear. We will go through an even path, vicissitudes, and countless tops and breaks. Our self-awareness, understanding, and consolidated rational thinking should come together in breaking the stigma. For as long as the stigma continues, People who suffers in silence refuse us to open their minds and hearts to hold on a helping hand. Let us all remember from a famous quote by Helen Keller, In a world full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it.